Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. Uh, to address this data set pro problem, we're introducing Bibitor LLC. It's a fictitious company. Here's our little, uh, our little, sorry about that, I want to go back. Here's our little penguin. Here's our little branding for Bibitor LLC. I'll tell you why he's holding a bottle in a second. So what is Bibitor LLC? It was created independently at the DeMore McKim School of Business at Northeastern University. It is OER, it's an open educational resource. resource. Simply put, it is free to all faculty and your students. So let me give you a little bit more detail about what this fictitious company really is. The company is a retail liquor chain selling wine and spirits to the fine residents of Lincoln State. That's right, I created the 51st state. For the year end of June 30th, 2016, there's approximately $440 million in gross sales and cost of sales is approximately $300 million. They run in 79 different retail locations in the 67 cities and towns in the fine state of Lincoln. They use 75 different vendors to source their materials. There are over 10,000 different brands in their ending inventory. And in their ending inventory, which is approximately $50 million, there's over 200,000 records. In their purchase file, there is 2.4 million records. And in their sales file, there is 12.7 million records across the 79 different locations. In other words, given all the data files we have, there's approximately 15 million records in all the data. Sounds pretty big. Sounds pretty big data, yeah. All the data is based on the transaction flow of an actual institution. It's not just randomly created information. Therefore, there's seasonality. There's variance due to holidays. There's variance due to which day of the week we're going to be looking at sales, et cetera. The data tables are right now in a .csv and .txt framework. We'll talk a little bit more about how we can move away from those frameworks into something different. There are unaudited financial statements that tie to these data tables. There are sales and purchases flow charts that describe the sales process that created all of these transactions. There are sales manuals, a purchase manual, that leverages netsuite.com as far as its description of how it all came to be. There are currently three audit exercises sitting on the site for you. All right? And again, all of this is free to you. There's three audit exercises using either ACL or IDEA. Either one. We are tool agnostic. We do not care. These exercises come with suggested solutions, all free for you. Currently, there is one Tableau exercise for the introduction to management accounting course. Imagine this, talking about introducing data analytics in one of the very first core business courses at your universities. Talk about a way to encourage students to study accounting right away. And there will be more to come. We'll have four more Tableau cases. We've got seven, or seven to 10 different audit cases coming, all with teaching notes as well as suggested solutions. We'll even have a little exercise, little YouTube videos, one to two minute YouTube video videos to help the students understand how to get started with all of this. So basically, this project provides students with a business, processes, process flows, and manuals around the business, the transactions that come out of those process flows, and a set of financial statements that tie to all this data that came out of those process flows. No offense to the Microsoft folks, but using Excel is not going to work because the data tables exceed the Excel limits of 1,048,576. Did I mention that it's free? This is for educational purposes only, free to all faculty. Students don't have access to everything. You have access to everything. There is a thirst for this information. We've been talking about it the past day. 
We want to make sure that everyone has an equal opportunity to introduce data analytics education into their universities, not just select universities. We want to make sure everybody gets this and all students get this. The business community is asking for us to do this. We need to get it out there quickly. I know what you're asking. Charlie, Josh asked me this last night. Charlie, how can I get access to this? Yesterday, after working diligently for two weeks, we launched, officially launched our website, the hub of analytics education at the DeMore McKim School of Business at Northeastern University. Faculty have full access to all the data and the material. Students and commercial organizations just have access to any exercises or articles that are on the website. Faculty have access to everything. Tableau is one of our partners. I mentioned we're doing Tableau cases. One of our other very, very important partners is NetSuite.com, our cloud ERP friends. Think about this, flat files. I just described all these flat files. These flat files total approximately two gigabytes worth of data. Downloading that amount of information from the hub, then uploading it to Blackboard or whatever your teaching site is, and then having the students then download that to their local machines, only to then bring it into a business intelligence tool is a very time-consuming task. NetSuite.com provides the necessary infrastructure for students to access the data using online database connectivity, ODBC, versus uploading flat files to the business intelligence tool. The state of the art within the firms right now is taking flat files from their client, uploading them into the BI tool, and analyzing the client's data. This project, the Bibitor LLC project with NetSuite, addresses the state of the art five years from now. Because we believe the future of the profession is gaining direct access to the client's data warehouse, creating audit dashboards in the ERP or in the business intelligence tool, and continuously monitoring management. We're planning for five years from now. And we're constantly thinking about what new variables we can put in. What new flat files can we create? What can we post up on the hub of data analytics, uh, of data, uh, analytics education? What can we put on NetSuite.com? For example, right now we're working on the payroll process, figuring out how to create that payroll table, how to create the process manuals, the process flow charts around payroll. We're also creating criterion around internal controls, authorization controls, limit controls, creating new variables so that your students can test the internal controls in the data set. We have a program already written that will create another company moving up the supply chain. This is a retail liquor chain. We have the program already written and we'll come up with it very shortly about a wholesaler. We're going to move up the supply chain. Now we have another company that will also now have accounts receivable and the allowance for doubtful accounts of very specific customers. And we're going to create other year-end data sets. Right now we've got June 30. In a month, I'll give you September 30th flat files. In January, you'll get December 31, 2016. In March or April, you'll get March 2017. We're continuously building, we're continuously adding to the data set. It's not static. Outside of the data, you're also going to see liquor and wine business ratios, courtesy of Dun & Bradstreet. That's there. We have county-level demographic data. Think about that. You've got population data, number of people over 21. You've got income measures. You've got race measures and you've got all this county level data, students can look and see non-financial information and see whether or not that can predict the financial information. That's powerful stuff. But we're looking for more. We've got articles out there, we've got some white papers, that we're looking for more. We want to post more out there. Because we want to expand this free resource. I'm not that smart. I need you guys to give me more information. What are you doing in your classes? We want you to have this stuff. Well, what are you doing with it? Feedback into the hub of analytics education so that other faculty around the world can see what's going on. We're sharing this with you. Please share with us. We want to learn, too. We want to learn from all of you. Because we're not satisfied with higher education. On Monday, our team is convening to begin writing an NSF grant to deliver big data analytics education 
to the Vocational Technical High School, Madison Park in downtown Boston. School, it's a tough school. They have a high dropout rate. Opportunities aren't afforded to these kids. 95% black and Hispanic. These kids deserve the opportunity to be part of the 21st century economy. Hub of analytics education is just the beginning. 